Hello everyone. Right. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of the simplest and commonest moves in uh, Lindy Hop. And it's called the tuck turn. And it's quite unusual in that almost everybody calls the, this move the tuck turn. It's one of the very, very few moves that the Lindy Hopper seem to have agreed on a name for. Uh, okay, so I connect in my usual way, side by side with my partner. I offer my left hand. She, of course, naturally takes. And we go rock, step, triple step, triple step, and rock, step, triple step, triple step. So that's two six counts, one turning her out and one bringing her back. So let's break it down. The rock step, the outside foot goes back, rock step. So on the two, we follow our weight on the inside foot. These hands are linked, but they're quite relaxed. At the moment, they're not doing too much. My right hand is on the right side of her waist there. I hope you can see it. So I then, on the three, bring her into the tuck part of the tuck turn. Now, this is perhaps the most crucial bit of the whole move. Now, my left hand has come up to a compromise between my shoulder height and her shoulder height. So if you were to draw a line between our shoulders, it would go through the center point, so halfway between our shoulders at a, a compromise height. That is the best height uh, for the, 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 the push. She is pushing into my hand just as much as I ask her to. So I, I, I present my hand with a certain amount of force, she feels that and matches it, presses into it. This is going to be signaling her for the tuck turn. Now, my right hand was here, if you remember, but it's gone across to the other side of her body. And that's going to make what uh, happens next so much clearer. This hand pushes and rises, and with my right hand, I just, I just encourage her through. I don't impel her through, I don't shove her through the, the, the arch. I just, with this right hand, give her a movement which says, yes, that's the way I meant, just a reassurance, yes, confirming that's the way I meant. I don't want her to go whoop through, through, the, uh, through the arch, so instead it's boom, boom, down, boom, down, through she goes, ha! Okay, now you can see she's gone into a rock step again, and she's used the natural foot. She's turning to her right, so it's just natural for her right foot to go back into the rock step. And I'm mirroring her, my left foot is going back into my normal rock step. So we've done rock step, triple step, triple step. Rock step, triple step, triple step. If you are a complete beginner and you don't know what a triple step is, you could just do slow steps. Rock step, 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 rock step. Works fine. Okay, now at the end of the rock step, rock, I got this tension back. So she's going that way, I'm going, sinking back into my rock step, there's tension here, and immediately she knows that I'm going to want her to come back the way she came. And I raise my hand to above the front of her head, and then she's able to turn under that, and I turn, I just keep facing her the whole time, and there she is. So, she starts facing that way, she turns 180 degrees, and then 180 degrees back again. Notice that I've actually done exactly the same amount of turning. Boom, back, boom, so now I then turn, whoops, turn, 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 I turn as well. You're more conscious of the fact that she's turning, but by just keeping facing her, I'm actually turning as well. Um, right, so that was two six counts. And you don't have to use these connecting hands. Now I said at first, you should, that's the, the basic version, but in fact you can lead it just with this hand. I could go rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step. Works fine. So my right hand took her back into the rock step, rock step, and then transferred to this side of her body, and then I was able to lead her just with that. And she, she could feel that perfectly well. Uh, I actually caught my right hand that time, but uh, I was just showing off. Um, if you catch the normal hand, left hand, you can then be brought back the same way, triple step. So that is the tuck turn. Uh, now, of course, you don't have to do it as six counts. Uh, one I quite like is an eight count version where you just turn twice. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, rock step. So you can, you can do, do, she does an extra second turn, takes two beats about it. And another one I quite like is when I change hands during that turn. So I go rock step, triple step, she comes around, this second hand takes over and does the second, the second of the, the two turns. And that puts it into an eight count. So, the tuck turn, ladies and gentlemen, the tuck turn. Pay attention. 
there's something we forgot to say, something very important. Um, what I want my partner to feel at all times is comfortable and safe. And I don't want her to dance defensively. I don't want her to feel, ooh, she's going to have to really look after her shoulder because otherwise I'm going to be jarring it about and she'll be really sore at the end of the dance. I don't want her to be feeling like that. I want her to trust me. Okay, so, if I'm turning my partner, I will bring my hand up and it will be above the front of her head and will stay there as she goes around. If I bring my hand down to waist height again, that's a really strong signal, no more turning. So, she goes around once, boom, it goes around, and comes down to waist height, that's it. It's quite clear that she's obviously not meant to go under that arch again, it's just too short. But if I leave it up, she'll go around twice. Boom, way. And that second one, I used almost no force. She had a certain amount of spin from the way I led it, and she just let it carry on. And then, again, my hand came down to waist height and I finished it off. But, can you imagine, in fact, gentlemen, what I want you to do is I want you to take your right hand, put it above the back of your head, okay, here, and that, now I want you to imagine someone much bigger and stronger than you yanking on that. Ow! I, you know, just ow, frankly. So, I will never carry my partner's hand to here, because... Any, any force there, with, with shoving and spinning and so forth, is going to be really horrible and uncomfortable, so don't do it. Okay? So it must never go behind the head. Above the front of her head is great, is comfortable, is safe. So do that. Thank you.